Yo, bloody actor here, guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Kenyan Gaming Setups. I'm not a tech reviewer, so keep your negative comments away from the comment section because I'm here to showcase what you guys are rocking. Now, if you enjoy these videos, you know what to do like, share, share these videos with everyone. It really helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, so today I'm here to showcase the setup of Mikolel. Um, he games Apex. Uh, we game with him Apex. I don't think we've gamed with you. No, we've not gamed before on apex but uh yeah he's on discord i think the guy's on game launch the discord called game launch know him other people know him as well but uh yeah um let's go check his setup out so yeah guys uh come check his setup out um of course, I'm already in the room, so I don't even know why I'm saying come check his setup out. But uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of natural light in this setup. This one is uh, mostly, if I had to guess, and I'm pretty sure it is geared more towards a workspace. But uh, yeah, there's a freaking adjustable desk. There's a mini ITX case, really clean and minimal. Um, generally, yeah, this is really a like um, a good space to be in. Um, I really like the the setup as you guys can see but um uh, yeah guys uh let's check what this guy is rocking um for the pc case he's choosing to go with the cooler master nr200p mini itx pc case this particular version of the case does come with two side panels one being a clear tempered glass side panel and the other one being a steel vented side panel for unrestricted airflow for the CPU, he's choosing to go with the Ryzen 5 3600 XT CPU, which is yet another AMD 6 core 12 thread um, CPU. Again, this 6 core AMD CPUs seem to be dominating the Kenyan gaming setup scene. For the CPU cooler, we have a stock Wraith cooler. For the RAM, there, he's choosing to go with the Vengeance uh, from Corsair, the Corsair Vengeance um, LPX 32 GB DDR4 uh memory which is clocked at uh, that 200 megahertz so yeah for the gpu he's choosing to go with the evga geforce gtx 1660 sc ultra gaming gpu for the storage he's choosing to go with a one terabyte sata ssd from samsung paired up with yet another 500 um, gig NVMe from Samsung as well. So this is the Samsung Evo line of SSDs. All of this is all mounted on a Gigabyte X570 AM4 motherboard. Powering the whole unit, we have a Corsair SF series uh, 600 watt gold power supply. So yeah, if you're a fan of mini ITX cases, I do believe this one will uh, be up your uh lane now this one will be something maybe you might fancy uh to buy or fancying buying in future but yeah pretty mini compact case mom i do like the feeling of it i do like how small it is on the desk so yeah let's um head down over to the monitor there which is uh yet another entry again this monitor is just clearly at this point dominating the kenyan gaming scene but it's the aoc 24g2 ips 1080p 144 hertz monitor seems to be offering the bang for the buck but his second monitor is the hp 24x gaming monitor this is not an ips version and uh, it's also 144 hertz so yeah but uh, i'm sure you can see the difference in contrast between an ips and a tft i don't know if it's a tft or a tnt panel but I don't know maybe you guys will see the difference on the video and uh these two monitors are mounted on an oncron dual mount uh which is a dual monitor desk mount um i do like it looks sturdy feels sturdy uh yeah i do like black i mean is there like a white dead like monitor mount i'm pretty sure there is maybe i'm i don't know but uh yeah let's <laughs> what am i even saying let's head on over to the keyboard there which is the razor huntsman tournament edition um tkl just a tkl in the end that is what it's written <laughs> but uh yeah this keyboard is paired up with the razor basilisk is it basilisk but basilisk basilisk gaming mouse <laughs> this guy is a razor fan 
uh, because he's yet in other is a peripheral but uh, for the most part he's choosing to go with a KTRIO large gaming mouse uh, mouse pad again that's a that's a long initial Jesus for the headphones um, yes this is the other peripheral <sighs> peripheral I was talking about from Razer but this is the Razer Kraken tournament edition headphones they do have a microphone so he's using that as his microphone for the chair there it's just a regular office chair that he bought locally so yeah there's nothing so special about it other than it's comfortable it does the job for the desk uh this is yet uh not yet but this is a first entry but uh i don't think anyone else has this has this type of desk but as you can see this is an this is a height adjustable desk that he bought in westlands i may have to ask him to specify where he bought it on the comment section but uh yeah it's height adjustable trust me no matter how tall you are this desk can reach your height as you can clearly see in the video it really goes up like up and uh, i like it for the internet is using to go with the zuku fiber that mbps package uh yeah um he told me safaricom might ran out of capacity that is something i've had safaricom say to a lot of people so what's the deal safaricom what's the deal but uh yeah the total price for everything here is 2500 let's just round it off and say this is 2500 dollars so this is 2900 and nine two 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 hundred and ninety four thousand seven hundred and fifty kenya shillings so oh that's a pretty penny but that is i think including everything even the desk and the chair so yeah that's a pretty penny so um uh, yeah what do you use this setup for uh mostly work uh, and then gaming in the afternoon or evening pretty much so. all right uh did you assemble it or did you buy everything at once um i bought most of the pc parts once and then added more stuff like an extra monitor um some extra accessories the monitor arm as well came after yeah self assembled though. and so you assembled yeah for once uh, and he's and he's not be mentioned but i'm sure <laughs> but i mentioned him earlier on the monitor but uh yeah so um did you import this some um, you bought them locally um most parts were imported um some parts locally so all pc parts imported um the monitors one of them imported the other locally all right um anything uh what do you like most about this setup uh it's pretty simple um a very simple person i don't like the whole rgb so in comparison i'd say you don't love you don't love rgb no. <laughs> you're the first one i really don't like rgb it's not my, i feel like it's just an overly um cheesy yeah i'm like okay I, that people will like it let me not try and throw it but yes it's pretty simple pretty clear um i can do really much about um yeah but so anything you're planning to change um just a new gp that's all again gp yeah all right uh internet so far how is uh the internet zuku is been good but of late i think it's just getting worse so <laughs> uh nonetheless it's fine it's I, 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 it's not too good it's not too bad that days the weeks it's been good then suddenly it's just you don't have internet access for a whole evening yeah jesus so so fix your stuff you know when they put they put they placed the uh, fiber cables recently home i was tempted and then i told my mom no 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 at wakey no nope but uh yeah so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed that episode um again if you want me to come visit you be sure to comment it down in the comment section follow me on instagram discord um if you have my number on whatsapp hit me up as well and uh yeah like subscribe share remember to use code 254 millennial on checkout on shuffle pcs and again if you build pcs uh be sure to also submit your setups as well like submit the setups you've built for people so that i can also feature other guys but uh yeah i don't think i have anything else to say and then i should see you in the next one